Hey, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to talk to you about how to get great audio when you're filming at a noisy place like the beach with the crashing waves or you're in the woods and there's, there's a river running by. How do you get great quality audio? Well, we're in a beautiful place here, Cabo San Lucas, up on the rooftop of the villa that we're staying at. But we're gonna head right down there. So let's go for a little walk. Okay, so here I am at the beach, and I've got my shotgun mic on top of my camera, but the audio is probably not so good. I mean, I can't hear it, but I'm assuming it's not so good. Well, now let me introduce you to my little friend, Zoom. This is the Zoom H2N. Right now, this is not connected. I've got a lapel mic, but it's not connected. We're not listening to that. Let me turn on this audio. Okay, so I'm, face, I'm having it face me. All right, so now the mic is facing. It's right in front of my mouth, and the audio uh, is just recording onto an SD card. So how much better is this audio compared to this audio just going back to the shotgun mic it's only 80 18 inches away from my mouth but there's a big difference there isn't there and I just want to do it as a comparison I'm going to connect this mic right here to this there's actually a, a spot where I can plug it in uh, right up at the top oh focus on that right there so that brass thing that's where I'm going to plug it in all right so how does that sound now it's the lapel mic plugged into my zoom recorder. It just replaces it, so no audio is actually being picked up by the zoom recorder. It's all coming from my lapel mic. So when you come to a place like this, you know it's gonna be noisy. You can't just rely on the standard mic that comes on your camera, or in my case, I put on a shotgun mic. You've gotta take extra preparation to bring something like this that you can talk into. And if you're holding a mic, it's really not that big of a deal, but sometimes we think it is, and so other times we'll just try and put it out of the frame. A lot of times I've got this connected to me with a cord now, uh, so I can show you, let me pull it out. Okay, so now we're back to recording just on the zoom. If I pull it away from my mouth, you can tell now it's getting closer to my mouth, okay? But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll have it upside down, just outside of the shot. There we go. So it's just outside of the shot, so you can't see it, but it's real close to my mouth. All right, so let me know if I answered all your questions or if you have any others, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.